Um, you know, we, we knew it was going to be a battle um, just because they're a good basketball team um, and they're a veteran team too. So, uh, you know, I told our kids, I mean, it's, it's going to be two halves. And, uh, you know, it really made a, a big emphasis about rebounding the basketball and we out rebounded them. Um, I thought we had some mismatches that we could take advantage of. And one of them was Chris Perez. I mean, I thought he was huge, uh, you know, really getting that turned around the second half. And, uh, you know, we, we played to win the game. And we played aggressive. I thought our defense was terrific the second half. Uh, we got five, uh, seven steals by being real active with our hands. Um, and then we opened up the floor a little bit with uh, driving. We got to the one and one. And, uh, you know, we just kept elevating our score. And, uh, you know, I just uh, want to thank the people that came out, especially the Canisius fans, the student body. Thought that was huge for us because once they got, got us going, and our kids didn't look back. And we just played, we played aggressive. We switched our defenses to try to take them a little bit off, off, uh, off stride. I thought that, uh, you know, the freshman point guard, uh, Evan Shannon, you know, he's a really good player, but, you know, he's a freshman. And we just try to take him a little bit out of sync by switching, you know, from man to man at his own. Um, but, you know, made big plays. Billy made big, big plays. Uh, and I thought, I'll tell you what, I, I thought beside Perez, I thought Valenti. I mean, his offensive rebounding. And, that, you know, he's just a high-energy guy. I mean, I love the way he plays. I love his intensity. He's just a live body, and he just keeps fighting. And even to the last, when he had blood coming out of his face, he said, you know, stitch me up. He said, I want to finish this game and get to W. I mean, that's the kind of kid that he is. And, um, but, you know, this is a great win for us, and uh, especially on the road in these kind of conditions. But, uh, and it was great for Buffalo. Great for Buffalo, being downtown in Buffalo and, you know, with the NCAA tournament coming here. And, uh, you know, I think uh, people, you know, got a chance to see good basketball. It was exciting because it went back and forth. Coach, you're going 3-0 after starting the back play last Friday. Is this a big learning experience for your team going to the next level to try and... There's no question about it. I mean, you know, we're going to have bumps in the road. No matter what, where we go, what we do, we're going to have some speed bumps. We had speed bumps the first half. The guys' shots weren't falling. We gave up easy layups, um, turned the ball over a couple of different times. And uh, But, you know, that's what it's going to take and how we handle adversity. How do we handle being down? And I told our guys, I mean, we had a lot of fight. And, you know, they stepped up and... Uh, they didn't put their heads down, and they played to win the basketball game. And they, that's what they did. You tell us about Perez attacking the basket, but he became a 6'3 six, six, postman today. Well, is that something you discussed before the game with him? Well, you, you know, I mean, Chris is a bulldog. And uh, he's a tough kid. He's from the Dominican Republic. And, uh, you know, he's just seen him in high school. And he's just a warrior. And uh, I tell you what, they, they, didn't have, they had no answers for him. And, he, you know, he just, he was like wheeling and dealing around the bucket. I mean, it was like, uh, he was like Bob Cousy around there. Just, I mean, he was doing stuff that I, I didn't know he could do. But, uh, you know, he's that kind of player. And I think he took a lot of the pressure off of Jordan, took a lot of the pressure off of Billy, took a lot of the pressure off, off of Matt Hurts. And, uh, you know, we, we, I went into this game saying that we wanted to take advantage of him, him and his ability to post up. I mean, we had a couple of plays for him. And I'll tell you what, that kid, he created and he made, made plays. And they, they were huge because that turned it. You know, that turned it for us. Um, so, and that's what you need. You know, you need, it, you need to, to really grow as a team and learn as a team. You need different guys to step up in different situations. And, and Chris Perez certainly did that. Jim, you mentioned the you mentioned the crowd. Uh, you ever you've been here at, in Buffalo when crowds are great, or with the odd when they would pack them yep, in there? Yep. You ever long for those days, or wonder if they'll ever return, where 
fans it's, will, you'll have to, you know, it'll generate 10, 12. It, it, no question, Bucky. I, I mean, it, it, something's missing. And I told that to Howard today. I mean, I was on the radio with Howard Simon. And, you know, something's missing. And we need your help as media. Buffalo's a great town for sports. I mean, I go to the Sabres games. I go to the Bills games. You got great college basketball in here. You got great high school basketball. You got great AAU programs. And, you know, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing that, you know, should I mean, there's enough for everybody. Right. It's a great town. And I think people got a chance to see some excellent basketball right here in downtown. And so, you know, there's no reason not to right now. You know, you got good coaches, you got good basketball. You know, you got other schools like Madai and Damon. They get you got, you know, you, you got a lot of great high school programs that can compete across the state. And I think Buffalo is a great city for sports across the board. And there's no reason not to. There's zero. I mean, Bill's done a great job with helping bring the NCAA here for how many years now? Come on, are you kidding me? And people love it. I remember we were in the NCAA Bonaventure at Cleveland, and we were going through that, and, and this place was, was humming with the teams that were up here. And we just got to connect the dots. That's all. I don't think it's anything else. It's us helping you, you help, helping us. But it has to be collectively done to really motivate the people, fans, parents, children to come on down and be a part of it. It, it seems like it, it maybe I, you know, I feel the same way. Flabbergasted, what, what happened? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's, it's the time. There's no know. question. I, I don't know. I don't know, and I'm still I'm, I'm, I'm mystified just because you have so many. And you, you do have a lot of intelligent sports fans in this city. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is ask them. That's right. That's, they just listen to the radio. You got more coaches here than, than any other city I've ever been around. Everybody's a coach. But, you know, you got great restaurants. You got great theater. You got great culture. And I'm just, I, 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 you know, I hope we can help be a part of the transition of help turning it around. But, you know, I mean, we're trying to do it. And, you know, we got guys that, you know, we're doing it the right way. We graduated five. All these kids are, you know, we've been through test week, and it's been a tough week for us because going through tests, I mean, our guys take tests, and it's exam week. Uh, but all these kids are all on track to graduate, and we're trying to do it the right way. And, you know, but, uh, you know, we, we, we need we need your help. I mean, just to promote and, and accentuate it because there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. It's amateur sports at, at its best. And I love to see kids involved. I love for them to see, they come to see us, okay? I had one guy call me today. He has an autistic child. And he said, coach, can I see you after the next, he wants to come to the Lamar. I said, yeah, we'll get you tickets and I want to see your child. He said, can I meet Billy? I said, absolutely. We'll get Billy to meet you, to meet your son. And that's what it's all about. They need kids, they need role models. They need to understand that academics is good, that going to college is good and to be a part of a tradition of, you know, excellent athleticism on the collegiate level. I mean, you know it. Yeah. I mean, you've seen it. I mean, I was part of the, the, the little three, the big four. I mean, good Lord, I mean, it was phenomenal. And, you know, it just, uh, we, need, need, we need your support to constantly accentuate it when you have opportunities. Take one more for Coach. Coach, in terms of... Uh I guess today's game. Uh, from in the second half, the perimeter defense seemed to really, um, really go up from like an, from an intensity, yeah. from, a, from an activity standpoint, especially with the hands. Yeah. Was that something in, in halftime you had to focus on? Well, we, we wanted to be real active. We got long bodies. You know, Jordan. You know, he's got arms like an like an octopus. You know, Phil Valenti. You know, Zach Lewis. I love guys that have long arms because it makes it very difficult. I think what happened too is. We took McCray a little bit out of the game. Well, a lot out of the game, second half. You know, he didn't score against Bonaventure in the second half, and we knew that. And I think a lot of it is we're switching defenses and also packing in on the zone and forcing them to have to shoot from the perimeter. And I think our guys, you know, gravitated to that 
and they, they really, it really helped elevate us because we kind of took him a little, we took him out of the game by packing it in. And they were trying to get it into him, but once he got it, we were surrounding him. And we talked about it, we watched film, and our guys did a great job of, of uh, executing the game plan. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay, thanks, Coach.